in the previous lesson, we learned about what web scraping is. That is, we extract some information from a website using a program or tool. And in this lesson, we will learn how it works. To understand the same, we can divide it into four steps. That is, sending a request, getting the response, selecting the data we want, and extracting the data. Let's start with the first step, that is, sending the request. Whenever we visit a website, we either search for it or directly enter its URL address. So let's say we want to visit the FarmFresh website. So what we can do here is type out its URL, that is farmfresh.com in our browser, and it will take us to the FarmFresh website. Here we used the URL address of the website to visit the same. We requested farmfresh.com, which in turn returned us a response, that is the website itself. It's all hidden away in the background when we are using browsers, but when scraping websites, we will handle this request ourselves through code. We can request any website for its content using its URL address, that is farmfresh.com in this case. That's the first step of sending the request to a website. When requesting content, we will get a response back, which brings us to the second step of getting the response. In browsers, we have the visual representation of a website, but actually the website is structured and displayed using HTML. You may be familiar with the same if you have done some HTML and CSS before. Simply, all the texts, images, buttons, etc. we see on the web page have an equivalent code inside the HTML. Like this product title, which is wrapped inside the H1 tags, that is the header element. So when we request through code, we get the HTML as the response back. Again, we have to handle the response ourselves so that it's easier to operate on. Now that we have the data inside the HTML response, we can parse it and select the data we want. Let's say we want the product title and price. Using special selectors, we can select our data. We can either use CSS selectors or XPath to select our data from the HTML response. Of course, we will discuss both of them in the upcoming lessons. After selecting the data, we can simply go ahead and extract it. Finally, we get the data we wanted, which concludes our web scraping process. So what we did here is requested the content, got the response as HTML, selected the data we want, and then extracted it. So that's how web scraping works.